You thinking about getting a snow dog? We got ours out today. We got the long track with reverse. We're gonna head down in to camp. Quite the snow bank we gotta go over. I'll show you how big it is in a second here. If I walk up to it though, well, as you can see me, the snow bank's four or five foot tall here. We'll fire the snow dog up, let it come up to temperature, and we'll hook all three sleds on. We're gonna record driving down through the deep snow. We'll see how this long track does. Let's see, kill switch on. Kill switch off, actually. Chokes on. Fires up. Turn the headlight on, that gets the heated hand grips going. So, stay tuned. We're gonna take it down over the deep snow. Take the choke off, lower and reverse. Not like that. Okay, we got a ratchet strap up to our ramp. That just goes down to the trailer hitch. Keeps our uh, ramp from sliding out. We're gonna back this off now. Here's the snowbank. We're going to try taking the long track up and over this. We'll see how it does. It's a pretty big snowbank. I don't know. It might struggle there, but we're going to find out. Once we get up over there, we're going to drive down the trail up into camp. See, I'm sinking in off the trail. We made it over the big snowbank. You can see the path I cut through right there. There's about a five foot snowbank. Now we're gonna run down the trail and head into camp. As you can see, the snow dog made it into camp. We got about two foot of snow up here. Can't see me real good. We're packing up. We're headed out. We got the trail. It's not focusing. It's dark. But we'll be headed out in the dark tonight. We got about a half mile run back to the truck. So, if you're thinking about getting a snow dog, go with the long track. We blazed the trail. We towed our sleds. We got our gear in here. That's a fresh trail we made, it works good.